The political front lines in Thailand have been drawn. With neither side even hinting at a compromise, there's growing concern that the army could again roll tanks onto the streets of Bangkok, staging a coup to restore order and break political deadlock. But the military insists that it's neutral. We need to be careful about our comments. What we say can ignite and inspire, even create a situation that will force the army to step in. At the beginning of their protests, the anti-government movement presented a letter to the army asking them to join their side. Protesters flooded this lawn in front of army headquarters. They only stayed for a few hours and there was barely any soldiers to be seen. Now that's something that's been consistent over these last several weeks of these protests. The army has been for the most part out of sight, but not out of mind. Worries over another coup have fed rumors of secret meetings and high-level plots. And then last month, this from the army chief. The door is neither open nor closed. Anything can happen. If it's going to happen, it will be determined by the situation. We met a retired general who was the army spokesman during the coup in 1992. In the past, coups were used as a solution to end tension in the country. The current atmosphere is tense, but a coup is not the answer. The army has learned their lesson. Previous coups have left Thailand in worse shape than before the military stepped in. And some feel internal divisions are preventing a coup. Within the military, put it bluntly, divide into two fractions. One supported by the former prime minister, and I believe he's still pumping a lot of money into it. A poll this month showed that most Thais want the military to stay out of politics, something the generals say they agree on. But if the situation heats up on the political front lines, it could force them to make an unpopular decision. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.